Let's pour dot. Yeah, I don't know what thing go. Yeah. That's it right there. Beautiful and nice and lovely. So hope you guys will like this. Drink it anytime after the day you feel like drink this one. Alright. Beetroot is very good and beetroot is powerful. Alright. Yeah man, a good vibes. So if you like the recipe, you don't know, leave your comments, tell a friend, and a friend tell a friend. We have a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas. All right. And remember, you can also get yourself a copy of the book from poverty to purpose. Chef record a secret recipes to success. A good vibes, people. Yeah, man. Bless upon yourself every time. From Chef Ricardo cooking. 100 percent effective. It's amazing to be in the kitchen with you guys today. It is fantastic. I do love you so much And that's why I want to give you this recipe I know you guys are going to love this because it's just an amazing, you know I'm always giving you different kind of recipes. You know it I give you some of the most beautiful recipe for you guys to make at home I'm always have to give back something to you because guys you love me so much and I love you too And you know, what I mean I give you juice you give you meat free Monday and all different kind of healthy recipe for you to work with at home to look after yourself every night we do now and do a healthy tea recipe so stay tuned in with this beautiful and an amazing healthy tea recipe we've been doing every other night we do high blood pressure you name it so do not miss this one and just remember also we are here to fill some of the gap with you guys so if you missed the videos remember the video right there you guys can watch and stay tuned in with Chef Ricardo. Thank you so much for all of that beautiful love. And now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna deliver on an amazing recipe to you for you to make at home. So stay tuned in and let's do this too. Yeah. Like this, all right. That's the baking soda with the ginger and the lime. Don't know. Um, so we're gonna put some strawberry into the water. Like this. put some blueberry into the water just checking them to make sure I'm pretty good enough yeah Quickly make a juice and I even yeah. Yeah, don't know the thing go. Alright, so that's the blue berry, strawberry, ginger, and also lime. Alright. Yeah. So we just put some raspberry inside of it. So we're gonna simple. Alright, we're going to um, wash off this and I need the top now and then we're going to um, blend them up and make a nice beautiful juice. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah man. people you don't know the thing go yeah so let's go for it so we got beetroot We're using one medium sized beetroot inside of it ginger 
one medium sized lime inside of it. All right. Strawberry. All right. This is blueberry and raspberry. so you can see what's going on coconut water lid so we are going to blend this now all right, before we are going to blend, before we blend, let's put this aside. Okay, remember they can get yourself a copy of the book from Poverty to Purpose. It's on Amazon. Go over to Amazon, get yourself a copy of the brand new book. All right, guys, from Poverty to Purpose, Chef Ricardo Secret Recipes to Success. This is, is amazing. All right. Yeah, man. So that's the way it looks right there. Beautiful one. Big ball. Strainer. Poor dot. So that look right there. Excellent. So that is draining out. You know, a lot of people don't believe this. This is my dinner right here. Yeah. From morning, I'm drinking jelly coconut and sugar cane. Yeah. Different, you know, yeah, something totally different in the evening you know, from Chef Ricardo. You don't have to try this. people they don't know the thing go all right so that looking amazing and fantastic all right yeah so let's pour it out and go for a drink yeah Let's 
poor dot. So hope you guys will like this. Drink it anytime after the day you feel like drink this one. All right. Beetroot is very good and beetroot is powerful. All right. Yeah man, a good vibes. So if you like the recipe, you don't know, leave your comments, tell a friend, and a friend tell a friend. We have a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas. All right. And remember you can also get yourself a copy of the book. From poverty to purpose. Chef will call the secret recipes to success. A good vibes, people. Yeah, man. Bless upon yourself every time. From Chef Ricardo cooking. 100% effective. A good vibe. a little bit of cooking in the kitchen don't feel no way a lot of people gonna get a surprise today all right so what we're gonna do is number one pour it out all right just like this so every time i open up it i always um I always, every time when I open it up, I always, I always use the whole pack. You can just use one pack, half a pack. You don't have to use the whole of it, but I'm always. So what we're going to do, we're going to wash it just like how you wash your rice and peas. All right. Like when you cook your rice, it's the same thing we're going to do with this today all right a good vibe so we're gonna watch this all right breaking news the book is available on amazon feel free to go over and get yourself a copy of the brand new book before christmas because we see that christmas things start to put out already and not even the year not to be half so good yet and christmas things start to put out already so you know what i go on 
all right get yourself a copy of the book and support the progress one and a half one year and two months now since the book published a lot of people still didn't get their copy i don't know what you guys waiting for click the bell this medium sized pot all right to cook the rice and peas in her all right hopefully you guys can see exactly what's going on all right because we now have nothing hiding we are make sure telling her everything what's going on in the kitchen all right yeah but now i had nothing beautiful um so what we're gonna do i'm going to soak off this into some water in the meantime what we're gonna do is get the pot on and we're going to put some coconut milk inside of it all right that's the coconut milk we are using we're gonna use roughly about half cans of coconut milk inside of it lovely all right yeah then we are going to put scotch bonnet pepper we're going to put red kidney bean inside of it all right good vibes we're going to put roughly about one cup of hot water not too much roughly about one cup of hot water we're going to put some fresh thyme into it all right we're going to put few cloves into it you don't have to but it's good to use cloves and cook with pimento seed we're gonna put a few pimento seed inside of it all right a good vibes so you guys can see exactly what's going on right there we're gonna put some black pepper yeah. we're gonna put some sea salt Excellent. All right. Um, we're going to put in some of this inside of it. This is pepper spoon seasoning, salt free. All right, a little bit. We don't want to put too much because they're really spicy. All right, we don't want to put too much. Then I'm going to get some garlic inside of it. This is a garlic inside of it. All right. Then white onion. Excellent. You guys can see what's going on. All right. This is how it look. Right here. Perfect, isn't it? 
100%. So that's it so far. What we're gonna do is Let's give it a taste. I don't want a spring onion, but that's good. All right. Just a little bit of more um, salt inside of it. Yeah, lovely. You guys can see exactly what's going on right here that looking excellent all right so we're going to wash off our rice i'll call it the rice because it's better than rice still all right all right here it is it's not rice it is quinoa quinoa or quinoa all right, yeah, man. Ears is in big up yourself. Let's put this inside of it. All right, and I want to mix it around. All right, look at that. So, so the one cups of water work with it. One and a half cups of one cups of water and half cups of coconut milk. can see exactly what I'm going on with right here. Yeah man. Look a bit of olive oil inside of it. Yeah. So that is excellent cooking from Chef Ricardo today. You don't know the thing go. going on as a people that looking excellent we're going to cook the eggplant curry inside of this pot right here so we're gonna show now how to do the eggplant all right if you don't know how to do it we're gonna show you how to do the eggplant today Now, the first thing we are going to do is this, putting some chopped tomato inside of the pot. Three medium size chopped tomato. Then half a tomato. All right. Half a onion, sorry guys. Good guys. You know, sometimes I cook on your heart. That's the white onion. I'm gonna put some garlic. Fresh garlic. Yeah, it's 
to this. So this is how you, you want to cook at home. All right, this is a new way for you to cook at home if you never cook this kind of way. Number two, we're gonna put some cloves. Our cloves are must. Yeah. Pimento seed. That, yeah, that looking excellent and an amazing, yeah. So that's what you want to do when you're going to cook at home, all right? Yeah, man. Going to cut up the what I call it aubergine or the eggplant, we want to call it. So right here we're gonna use two of the eggplant. Yeah. Right, two of them. First time. Alright. Inside of it. Yeah. So you guys can see exactly what's going on in the kitchen. All right, a good vibes, fresh time. Tomato. All right. All right. So that looking excellent. All right. Yeah, man. That is one of those kind of food you want for kind of learn how to cook at home. First time, a good advice. I wish you big up, big up yourself. Thank you so much. All right. As I say, if you never cook this kind of way, welcome to the Master Chef. And it is something totally different. This evening in the kitchen all right so we have to show you guys sometime something different because everybody cook one kind one kind of way we see a lot of people have been cooking all over their life and they did them then start learn to cook they are cooking one kind of way all right and then now understand that 
there's a whole heap of different kind of way you can cook at home. I work with all different kind of chef back in the days. Master chef, big chef, Vietnamese chef, Chinese chef, Japanese chef, European chef, you name it. All big top chef, fine dining chef. <laughs> if I sh and I got all of those photographs up to till today. And I'm talking about like 15, 20 years ago. I still got them same way put down in my books. If anyone know that know about Chef Ricardo, then you'll understand. If you don't know anything about me, you're not gonna understand because I work in the school for about 20 years. So I got a lot of experience in the cooking industry. I work with some of the biggest company in the UK. Trust me, big massive company where cater for what? 200 school in the UK. Working in some of the most fine dining school in London as a head chef. Trust me, there are certain kind of ways you can cook at home. Let's go for it now. Number one, you can burn your curry, okay? But you don't have to, all right? If you're a person who are trying to avoid oil, then you can burn your curry, but you don't have to. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a teaspoon of curry powder inside of it. So it depends on the kind of curry you're using. That's one teaspoon of curry powder inside of it. You can burn a curry if you are doing like certain kind of meat. You can burn up the curry and you know what I mean with the chicken oil. You know what I mean fry off the chicken and when I rub up the curry inside of it and get that on an amazing color and flavor taste all right so we don't want to be using too much of the got it all right so i put a teaspoon of the curry inside of it which is good not too bad but i put another half a teaspoon inside of it a mix so if you want to burn up your curry you can burn it up with your chicken or your beef well you don't have to burn up your curry unless you're allergic to it see that getting a little bit of a color from the curry all right then what we're gonna do next is put some spice fusion season it's a little bit spicy, but you're gonna have to be careful with it. Very spicy and thing. All right. If you are trying to avoid the oil, this is the best way because sometimes you're gonna have to be careful with oil. Paprika. You can put a little bit of paprika. I mean, on it. Not too much. Salt-free season. That season is a natural seasoning. Vibe. So, you guys can see what's going on right here. Alright, a little bit of KG season. Not too much. Alright, but we're gonna deal with ASMG and all them things. Uh, red flag, red flag that. So this is not beef or chicken where you have to go burn off your curry. All right? No, you don't have to. So you can see, this is how it look. All right, if it is beef and chicken, then you can burn your curry. And you know what I mean? Yeah, but this is vegetable. So you don't have to burn. And 
I didn't even have any spring on and all them things that inside of it. You know? But let's show you what you guys can do. You don't have to cook like a chef. Alright. What you wanna do? Just add a little bit of oil on it now. Of the olive oil. And then you're gonna get something different. We're going to be using a vegetable stock. This is a vegetable stock. We're going to put this inside of it. So, drop the vegetable stock inside of it. You can put it with water, but you don't have to. Mix it out inside of it because this is eggplant, guys. You know what I mean? It's runny, liquidly, and all them things. So you're gonna have to be careful. All right. So you can see. All right. Look at that. All right. Lots of people don't know how to cook these things. I've been, I cooked these for years. Little bit of hot water. Making this for vegetarian teachers, vegetarian students. So I got a lot of ideas around these cooking. You can put coconut milk in it. You can put lots of things inside of it. And get a nice little bit of stew down. And it will come in like this. All right. Yeah, you see that? You can put, because I don't have any, you can put mixed peppers. Lots of things you can put inside of it. But I just make my own simple and quick and easy. All right. So let's try this and see. Mm. The flavor. Wow. That is amazing. Ah, the flavor looking so delicious, honestly. The flavor is amazing. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, man. The flavor. Mm. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So that's how it look right there. This is healthy. And your rice and peas, we're gonna make this evening. Yeah man, very, very healthy. All right. Yeah. That is so delicious guys you don't even know honestly it's one of those kind of meal you want to try at home is this honestly yeah might have a little bit but you know by the time it goes down it does you know let's remove this because you see it starts to strip already scotchy inside of it a good vibes all right let's try this and see what I go on mm. This is amazing. Mm. You see this? How will you start? It's enough people who are cooking rice every day. 
and now listen i'm going to tell you this all right here it is there's a 50 percent off on the book and support the progress all right feel free to get yourself a copy of the book a good vibes now everything is done you know let's share it up and show you what's going on because you don't know the thing go already because time is running out all right here it is yeah man a good vibes people here it is could enjoy it a little bit more but you know say by this thing by the time you leave it it does take time and and dry out yeah yeah man by the time you leave it around and come back on it just dry out yeah perfect all right you see this is what we're talking about look at that you can put all the coconut milk in it if you like to And I didn't even put any sweet pepper on all them things in it. Just to show you. I was going to cook some broccoli and you know what I mean, but I say you know next time we're gonna some of that. Every day we are gonna the same thing. Look at that people. You don't know the thing go. Oh Chef Ricardo. You don't know. Here it is. All right, you don't know the thing, go. Proper, healthy meal. All right. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is what we're talking about. Healthy and delicious. Simple. Now you can get some coriander sprinkle on top of it or some spring onion my fridge is empty because right now i have to see if every penny electric and gas is going up and it's going to be crazy over the next few months you know what i mean so i have to try to watch the budget and all these things are good advice but just to keep you update this is a very healthy meal and you guys can do this at home yeah man you can do it at home and you guys definitely will love that. A good vice. Look at that. 100% healthy and delicious. You can't get this to buy in the supermarket, guys. You have to cook this at home. And anybody that cook rice and peas today, a red flag or even white rice. Red flag. Because just imagine for the day you're born, you eat rice. And you continue to eat rice over and over. And you eat meat. For the day you're born, even before you're even born. Yeah, eat rice and peas and chicken and all them things that inside of your stomach. Before you even born, you know, yeah, eat that. So you have to come at time where you have to say, boy, you have to cut back and eat something different. Before you even born, yeah, eat it. I could fast anyway. are one of my favorite and i've been using them over the last um few few days all right so one two three four okra all right i'm going to um wash them off we're going to use a little bit of baking soda on them like this all right because the baking soda is what's going to make the difference with this one all 
all right so i want to encourage you guys to you know give them a little bit of rinse with some um, baking soda honestly the baking soda makes the difference but i want to say i'm not going to be too long with this video tonight it's going to be a very very um short and spicy video tonight all right i would quickly mention the book you know i mean because a lot of people still asking how can i get the book to buy how can i get the book to buy go over to amazon and get yourself a copy of the book from poverty to purpose chef ricardo secret recipes to success now i'm going to show you how to make this beautiful cup of tea tonight and i'm not going to be too long on this life it's going to be short and spicy yes we all know that tomorrow is so we're going to put in hot water one cups of hot water all right that's the hot water make sure the cooker is on all right people tonight we are not going to be linger linger around with the video like the other rest of the night we're going to be go straight into it and we're going to fix what we need to fix tonight so tonight we're going to talk about the bone yes everybody got bone inside of them body i might think you have iron you don't have iron don't think you got metal or what do you want to call it a rubber you have bone all right so you don't know you have to take care of the bone you know what i mean you can use different things to take care of the bone but also you have natural things like okra okra is very good for your bone and okra is also very good for high blood sugar all right and a lot more things on heart health also if you are interested in okra if you don't interested in okra please do not watch the video you're wasting your time because you don't interest in it. If you're interested in an okra, stick around, watch the video, like the video, tell a friend, and a friend tell a friend. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna simple, cut up our okra, we're gonna be using four medium-sized okra. All right, yeah. Last night, we used okra and lime tonight we're just going to be using okra we're going to put a little bit of ginger in it because the okra and ginger works really well all right we've been using the jamaican ginger over the last few days mary kablak big up yourself mary thank you so much So people, there's the okra. I didn't want to use any ginger, but I'm going to tell you this. The okra and the ginger works really well. I'm going to turn off the cooker. All right, the okra and the ginger works really well. So we're going to grate a, a little piece of a ginger inside of it. All right, yeah, man. So this is the ginger. It's a little piece of ginger. And it's a Jamaican ginger. We are used.
perfect guys you see yeah that's the okra right there a good vibes see that look at that that is amazing okra tea with ginger Basic recipe, very good for your blood sugar, can also help you with your high blood pressure, and very good for the bone inside of your body, all right? If you have bone, if you don't have no bone, I don't think you need to drink it, but if you have bone, this is really good for you to drink at home, trust me, and you can also do your research. I put some of the information in the description box for you to read it and see where you are with this natural home remedy all right anyway a good vibes still talking about the book feel free to get yourself a copy of the book from poverty to purpose chef ricardo secret recipes to success all right we've got a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas a good vibes all right people so you can see very beautiful healthy cup of tea from chef ricardo to you guys this evening all right Whatever you do, stay blessed, keep the faith, believe in yourself, and stay healthy. Medium sized pot. Okay? I'm going to show you how to do this one. One cup of hot water. Rosemary. First time. Close. Star incense. Prevent a seed. Cinnamon stick.
lemon. orange let it cook for few minutes all right this is what we're talking about all right recipe where you not even think of of using at home so we're gonna take this off to eat because we don't want it to because we're using boiling water so that's why See that so all of the flavor is into it that's the time and yeah that is excellent Now, okay, quickly. This is the book. If you didn't get yourself a copy of the book, go over and grab yourself a copy of my brand new book From Poverty to Purpose. Chef Ricardo's Secret Recipes to Success is available on Amazon. All right, good fives. Here it is. Excellent cup of tea. Got some honey right at the bottom. Cinnamon. Yeah. Perfect. People, it's up to you. No one on this earth can force you and tell you what you want to do at home. All right? So we give you good stuff. So it is you to make it at home. As you can see it for yourself. And an amazing, credible recipe for you guys to make at home. If you like the recipe, please leave your comments. Tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. We have so much beautiful recipe like this coming again for you. All right. Yeah, man. This one helps to clean up the body, detox in the body, and help you with your boots in your immune system and help you with your immune system. All right. Please enjoy it. Leave your comments and I will see you with more recipe. Have a beautiful evening. All right. Bye-bye for now.